Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome back to the creative side of Planet Nomads. Uh, I'm just taking this crawler for a little try here. I actually got, was able to get this to work, but I want to sort of create like a glass room to drive this around in. And it was working fine, and then dropped back down, and now it doesn't want to work. Uh, it doesn't work the best, and I'll show you in just a second here. I'll step out. Uh, this is designed, it's supposed to be a seven block wide gap. Uh, the problem is is the windows they don't line right up to the block so it's kind of uneven and another thing I didn't realize until I tried driving on this is that this lip here is actually uh, noticeable on the wheels so it was sort of bouncing around I've tried adjusting the suspension so many times it was working on the lowest suspend setting I tried going up and I tried changing the torque and I tried adding steering on both sides but it's kind of stuck here and doesn't want to move because it's not really touching the windows because of the gap and the, the recession, the texture. So that was something I wanted to try and I didn't want to do it in a, a wall of uh, ceiling tiles because then you won't be able to see anything. So that's why I did this out of glass and I did not want to do it with small, small windows even though small windows do line up on the edge of the block. To do something this size in these blocks, it's a long time. Anyway, uh, today I thought we'd start our little adventure in the robotic side. And there's something I want to kind of work on today, try to do. Now, before you, you get excited about the whole robotics thing, I am going to put it out there. There's going to be limitations to what we can do, uh, just because we need things for, like, stabilization and uh, the fact that when you have multiple active blocks I'll call them because that's what they are that's uh, the rotors and the hinges they're called active blocks when you have multiples on there that sometimes the physics has trouble understanding from what I can tell but I want to try to make a robotic hand and this is a simple project but not so simple because it is going to involve uh, a lot of moving joints a lot of key bindings so that's not what I want. I want to do a nice gray color. I'm going to use the foundations too because I haven't used these things in a while. So it doesn't have to be a big setup. We're just going to go ahead and start up here, there, and there. And uh, is it me or does this color look different? Did they change the color on me? They knew I liked that color, so they changed it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Must be out in the sun too long. It's getting bleached. Uh, let's actually make it a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, so I have always want to do robotic things. Uh, some of you know I want to, well, as you've seen, I wanted to build like a giant walking robot. And uh, a friend of mine asked me, well, why, why do you do things? Why does it have to be so big? Why does it have to be, well, not necessarily, why does it have to be autonomous, but why does it have to be so big? Well, the bigger you go, the more you can do with things, especially when you're dealing with blocks that are about a cubic foot in size. So, you know, that's why, like, large decorative builds are always better to have uh, large scale, because then you can get more detail with the blocks that we have. So, anyway, uh, so what I want to do is... Yeah, we're just going to branch this off a little beam here. But what I want to basically want to do is I want to try to get a, a working hand with all five fingers, well, four fingers and a thumb, before anybody tries to correct me on that, and possibly a working wrist. Now, I'm thinking about possibly the wrist rotating and flexing at the same time, but when you go and place a hinge on top of a rotor, or the other way around, like so, things may go wrong. So... I'd like to keep the rotation, but I'd like to have the flexing though. And the problem with the rotation is uh, there's only so much force these can handle before they start acting up, I'll say. But you know what we'll do? Because it's not going to be that complicated to build. Let's, let's try to go for both. So I'm going to go ahead and place the rotor here. And now I'm going to place a block just as a spacer. And then we're going to drop a hinge right there. Now, this is where placement is, how, how I'm placing things is going to come in handy. Because if I turn the, the hinge around, then technically that's going to be left, that's going to be right. 
but if I go the other way, then that's going to be left, that's going to be right. You know what I mean? So I have to make sure that when I'm placing them, that I, if I rotate it, that I don't hit the button again, because then I'll reset its or orientation. Anyway, so that is going to be, uh, I don't know, let me see here. Yeah, I guess it would rotate first, and then it would flex. And then from here, we're going to go like so, not like that. We're going to start going up towards the hand. It's not going to be 100% detailed. I'm trying to think of where I want the thumb. The fingers are going to be heavier. So let's have the, the fingers on this side. I'm going to go with five fingers, or four fingers, like I said. Maybe space one apart. So let's see, the pinky will be there. And one there. Let's put some place, placeholders here. And another finger there. And then we got a thumb up top, so we'll put the pinky down here, like so. And then for the thumb, where do I want the thumb? I think here would be good. You know what? Let's put it out a little bit. I think it should be okay as far as balance goes. Uh, I think here. Sorry, I'm having a BC moment here. Let's do that. Okay, so these can come out. Okay, and then we go, go to the hinge, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually spam the, the hotkey to make sure it resets into its default position. So that's the way I'm gonna place it. Three and then four, that's gonna be our main knuckles. Uh, I'll worry about the thumb afterwards. And then we're gonna go to Blocks, probably two should be good. No, let's go three. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then, yes, another exciting episode of Counting with BC. Okay, and then go back to here, and then. I'm trying to think here, maybe. Let's do this too. Yes, I'm actually looking at my hand as I do this. That's the wrong spot. Do there, and then that is that's your main knuckle, and then you have two knuckles on your fingers. This is this knuckle here is where the nail's gonna be. Uh, uh, maybe we'll put it some nails on this guy, just because. And it's probably gonna bug somebody. Uh, I don't know if I should try to get the fingers all the same length. You know what? Let's do it just because. Just because. You know me, I like to try to get things as realistic as possible. Or as close to real world as can, can be. Oh, I guess that would be it. Well, not that. So there's the fingers. Okay, and I will have to go through here and name them all. At least I can rename it here instead of having to go through the terminal to do it. And... I wonder if the thumb should go up one more. No, the thumb will be fine. Okay. So now I'm going to rotate. It'd be nice if it was an arrow showing you which way was the default way. Oh, you know what? Because I screwed it up. Let's reset it. And then we'll rotate it counterclockwise. Okay, and then we'll do two blocks. And then another hinge. Oh, I guess a uh, thumb does have three joints. You don't really notice it because it's part of your hand there. And just because. That's a big thumb. Technically, this should be over here. You can already see that it's starting to flex here. E we might have a problem on our hands. Well, if it comes down to it, I'll just I'll just replant that into the ground. I'll go with that. Uh, speaking of which, I might have to do a save here soon. And now that I realize the thumb is way too far forward. So I think what I'm going to do... Just do that. That'll be the thumb. Works for me. Okay, now before I do any damage, uh, I'm going to do a save here. And I'm also going to name everything. I'm basically going to have... Have the fingers numbered. The thumb will be number one. Index number two. Middle finger number three. 
and so on and so forth, and then it's going to be like 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, and you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so I got them all, all named, as you can uh, see here, 23, and we got 53 down here, and 11, oh, yeah, 11, let's say, and I named that Bend, is that Bend? Yeah, Bend, and then I'm not renaming that because there's only one rotor on here. So next would be probably be key bindings. Uh, I don't know if I actually have to have a terminal on here, but I'm gonna place one down anyway. So let's get the old Jenny down. A little lunch box here, and then uh, we're gonna need our lab station here. The lab station always has to be white. It's gonna be rule of thumb now. Uh, let's see where it'd be a good viewing spot. Somewhere safe. Sure. Okay, now switchboard. Go ahead and we'll just drop you right there. Gotta get a terminal down. At least I think I do. Even though I can access access it from there, but uh do do uh let's see. That's gonna be powered. And that one and that one. And you get the idea. Okay. Now it's all powered up. Everything's good to go. I do have the terminal set up too. So now I gotta hotkey everything. Uh, and I've been trying to think about how I want to do this. Because uh, we're going to be in the cockpit. Uh, hmm. T is going to be used for terminal. Uh, what I want to do is it's going to be two keys to operate the fingers. It's not going to be individual joints. We're actually going to be... I might actually have to move that thumb up, I think. One more block. Uh, something else I want to do too because our fingers only bend one way. I'm going to do this now before I forget. And uh, get the right color. And we're going to do that. And I'm going to place this here. Now, as I said before, if you pay attention to your center of mass, I want this mass to change, not this one. This, If this goes up over 111, then that means that this block is sticking to this and not to here. So, let's, tr let's see what happens. And see, it w went to that block. And I think it's because it's closed. Or it's uh, too close. So we might have to move the fingers out, which is which is fun. It's not the end of the world. I do have to, like I said, key bind everything. Uh, I probably will move the thumb up one more just for clearance. And, and then I'm going to figure out some hotkeys for this. So I gotta figure out what's not gonna actually be used inside the lab station there. Uh, v is used, so I can't use that. And what I was thinking about using like Q and A, W and S, E, D, R, F, but then you get the T, and then T is the terminal. So, you know what? Let me have a browse of the keyboard here, and I shall return. Okay, so I got everything all set, figured out. So what I'm gonna do is the, the thumb is gonna be Sorry. 0 and P then the index finger is going to be 9 and O then 8 and I and then 7 and U and then 6 and Y uh, I might have them backwards so we'll have to find out, we'll figure that out and then I got uh, this one here set as left and right uh, I gotta do another quick save and I, I'll be right back and we'll test it out ok Actually, there's still one more thing I gotta do, and that is unlock everything. Actually, I can do that to the terminal, be a little quicker this way. Let's go in here and uh, unlock and power. And the best thing is, is when a, when a, a unlocked rotor is powered or hinge, it actually breaks it. All right, it like uh, has a breaking force, so it doesn't actually move. Okay, uh, rotating joint. Oh, it renamed it. It used to be a rotating plate. Okay, yeah, bend, and there's all the digits. It's funny because they're all numbers too. <laughs> oh, what happened to the thumb? I thought they were supposed to stay locked. Well, let's find out. Let's lift the thumb up. Oh, yeah, because I powered it first. 
And this is what I'm talking about as far as uh, strength goes. So I might have to do this with all of them. The only thing is, though, is that's going to kind of affect uh, how fast it works. Okay, so what I got to do, and yeah, I do have it backwards. Let's find out. Uh, six should straighten the pinky. And that curves it in, which is good because I have to do all this. So I'm going to switch the key bindings over, and then I'm going to put the little blocks on the back side there to stop them from going any further than they should. Uh, adjust the tension on them a little and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got everything switched over. Uh, what I did too is uh, I used the half blocks that we have now for the little stops on the fingers. So let's see how this actually works. I've got everything set to uh, the second speed. The second speed, sorry. And it looks like it probably could be a little bit more. Maybe. Oh, that's right, I'm not in third person. I'm so used to being in third person in that thing. Uh, maybe this one here. These ones, if I can get to it. Here are you. These ones will set to three. Just because they're carrying the extra grids. I might have to do like a three, two, and a one. Possibly. Let's see how that works now. And now I realize Hmm. It's kinda of weird that the little part doesn't go right away. So I think I might have to adjust the speed on that, but I do realize too. <laughs> Did it again? It'd be, I'm probably gonna take these off. You know why? Because we can't do a thumbs off. I might actually leave that there. Leave those ones there, see how it works. All right, well, that is that. So I'm gonna raise the thumb all the way up. Big thumbs up, bring it back down. And now let's check the fingers. might have to go count how many times I do that in this episode I'm sure it's too many I think we might have to go three on all of them all right, give me yeah let's try this oh, yeah, that one's already three it's just these ones I have to change it could be too that uh, the game thinks that this is actually turning because this one's turning because it's moving it it's hard to say uh, I know we're doing things that the, the game engine probably doesn't really understand. Okay. Fingers are working. Uh oh. We got a broken appendage here. What's going on? I think I know what's going on. Oh, 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 oh. We got a twitcher. We got a twitcher. There we go. I don't know how many times I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one here, I do believe. I don't know which one was not moving. I think it was this one here. Okay, let's try that. And. almost like it's still locked. Hmm. It is. That explains it. Alright, let's move that finger back so I can uh, put that block back on. Ah, I didn't. I didn't go into third person this time trying to exit the cockpit. Okay, flashlight please. And we do that. And hit the right buttons. There we go. Okay, I still don't like how fast it's going. But I don't know what else we can really do about it. 
probably should have some sort of stop set up there too so the fingers only go oh yeah terminal haha -ha. oh yeah what do you, you can actually disable the other jet pack hover mode inside the, in the cockpit here even though we're not actually in the cockpit hmm I would like the fingers to bend a little more if I could. Oh, that works. Big thumbs up. Let's get a nice screenshot of that. I think that might be my thumbnail. I don't know. And then to extend, you just use the numbers. Yeah, it didn't like doing all four of them at the same time. See if we can close them all at once, except for the thumb. Yeah. Didn't like it. Yeah, as soon as I start going to the third or fourth, it just stops. And I'm going to break something here if I'm not careful. Nope, too late. Too late. That's what happens when you overextend your fingers. You don't want to do that. It'll look like this. Alright, well, so far it's uh, looking better. The controls, you know, like I'm saying, because I'm trying to move three ro hinges at the same time. The game doesn't really know what to do. Mind you, neither do I, but I still manage to get the job done, don't I? Now, let's test the wrist, and the wrist is just on the left and right arrow. which severely needs to be sped up. And now that I'm thinking about it, uh, let's do that. I'm actually glad I don't have this engaged because even though technically the center, center mass is there, that's just for this grid. Uh, all these other grids are going to actually put the center mass about here. So no matter what, it would want to default to this position, so I don't think turning this would actually be feasible or easy. Also, yeah, that definitely needs more power. And yes, I realize I could have accessed it from the cockpit, but whatever. I'm too lazy. Too lazy to look over the keyboard for the T button. Okay, let's see if I can do third person here and not look at my butt while I'm doing it and there we go, we got flexing on the wrist we got flexing on the wrist and we can bring the thumb down not that far and that's not what I wanted to do uh, hang on get my fingers all mixed up here, ah that's the wrong button That's what I wanted to do. Point in that direction. Uh, anyways, this was interesting. Actually, I thought I would have crashed the game by now. Uh, but I would definitely be putting this up in the workshop for you guys. You can mess around with it. Maybe expand on it. Come up with different ideas for it. And of course, as always, give this video a big thumbs up. Yeah, this is kind of... Like, kind of cool. Like I said, uh, don't expect anything too major. This is, you've seen the complications of having just on a hand. Now imagine trying to add a second hand attached to a forearm with an elbow and an upper arm to a shoulder to a waist and hips and legs and trying to get all that stuff moving together at the same time. It's just not going to work. I can't even move all four fingers at the same time. You know, we can try again. And it was, yeah, it doesn't really like it. Well, you can see why I would put the stops there. Uh, there we go. And it is the first hand in robotics. I'm hoping, hoping I can do more like this. Uh, these hinges and rotors could definitely use a little bit of tweaking, but there you have it. Do you think this is the, the first robotic hand in Planet Nomads? wouldn't be the first anyway uh, thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed the vid leave me a like and as always i'll see you in the next one later